G'day, Stu from your UAV Futures here, and today, well, you're watching this video for either one of two reasons. Number one, this is an unlisted video. You're a Patreon supporter, and I want to give you the right information about the right choices. This is a really good drone, but recently, Gearbest, they uh, jacked the price on the day my review was coming out. I wasn't very happy with that, so uh, I refused to do the part two review, so uh, or at least to publish the part two review. So uh, this is the part two. This is just for you patrons. That might be why you're watching this. Or if we are uh, sort of, if they listened, hopefully, and the price has come back down to what it used to be, like the 155, 159 mark, then uh, that's why the rest of you guys might be seeing this as well. So hope you guys enjoy this here. If you haven't seen the part one of the controversy, you can go watch this video up there. This is the Sky Lord, Sky, Sky Star, Sky Lord, and I really feel like it is a wizard killer. I mean, for that value for money that it originally was, if you're watching this video, hopefully, fingers crossed, it performs pretty well. We're going to take it out of the field, fly it around, hand it over to the whiz kid, the race kid, the Granger, see what he thinks things about it as well and a little spoiler the uh i kind of deleted a lot of this footage so i had to go out again it was an accident you know i had to go out again film it again so you're going to see a bit of a mishmash over two different types of days and the first part with my hd footage i think i'm just chasing a wing i'm not going to go out and make a special trip a third time in a row to get some footage for this bad boy so you're going to see me chasing some wings it's not terribly exciting but we will still have granger putting it through his paces and i've got his dvr feed we'll be able to check that out as well but overall look fingers crossed if you're a patron thank you so much uh and i hope you enjoy this video and if everybody else is watching this well i'm glad we sort of stuck it to them and we got the price back down anyway let's roll have some fun with uh what i think really is a wizard killer let's do it in three two one <laughs> Radio out here in the field, what we're gonna do, something a little bit different. I actually have no idea what this drone is called. It's got Sky Stars on the motor and the backstory. When I was over to, over visiting Gearbest, uh, this is one of the drones I brought home to do some testing. So I'm gonna put the link down below. I can see a CAD-X cam, but other than that, I don't know anything about this drone. We'll put it through its paces, fly it around. We've got some other wing pilots here, chase them, show you some, uh, I guess, HD footage, and also hand it over to Granger, see what he, he thinks. So anyway, let's do it, have some fun with whatever this is. Alrighty, let's do it in three, two, one, boop! Man, what a nightmare this has been. So flying around, uh, this is the only HD footage that I've got. We're chasing some wings around, having a good time with Granger, Wingman, John, uh, not Wingman, John, Long Range Tony, he was out there as well, having a good time. But uh, I, this was on the same day that we filmed the Wizard HV, and that didn't go very well. So I hope not too many people purchased that one. But uh, we're getting some rolls of death. But with this one, what I did, I got home, took all the footage, put it inside like the folder on my computer, copied it all over to the correct folders, accidentally transferred some of the HD footage from this one into the wizard folder. And then once that wizard folder was done, I deleted it, saved some space on my computer, and lo and behold, I deleted the footage we had for this one. So this is actually the only HD flight I've got, a bit of a ramble, the only HD flight I've got of this one. But fear not, don't worry, we're going to see Granger rip around. I've got some DVR of him as well where he's really putting it through its paces, doing some acro, that sort of stuff. But overall, you're just going to have to trust me when I'm talking about this, why we're doing some wing chasing. I did find us getting a little bit of prop wash on this. As far as the flight character characteristics go, uh, it has decent power, especially if you're considering the price when it was 150 when I reviewed this. But let's not talk about that too much anymore uh the camera was nice i really really did like the camera wasn't getting very much break up some high quality dvr i liked the osd and overall i feel like this is a great beginner quad i feel like it was rigid if you want to jump in to the hobby get something that works get something that flies nicely is going to take a beating this one it was a great buy at the 150 so i definitely feel like this is a bit of a wizard killer and lo and behold uh when we had to come out here again when i was filming granger for his seconds and second impressions after we deleted it the first time we're back out here again flying around he had a track set up uh that's kind of the term that he used which i thought was pretty cool as well so look overall to sum this one up and end my big pile of rambling what i'm going to say is this was a nice quad, good value for money if you can get it at the 150 price. It had pretty good performance and definitely something that I think a lot of people would enjoy the hobby with if you can get it at that price. But anyway, what we should do, let's hand it over to Granger uh, on the take two when we go out and try and do some recording again. And hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of wing chasing as well. Right here, out here in the field and this is kind of take two, a little bit weird, uh, rookie error by me. I deleted the footage of Granger flying this thing around. So we're back out here again. Uh, luckily, we're flying at the same spot. You've got some gates set up, but I'm going to get Granger's impressions, and they're going to sort of be his take two impressions because you have already flown this yes. thing. And I can tell you now, it's $155. 
So last time when we flew it, we didn't know the price, but yeah, 155 bucks. We're gonna put him on the sticks again. We'll call his reactions our second time. And I guess you can just talk through, uh, talk through about Granger's findings about this quad. Anyway, before you take it off, what did you what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? All that sort of stuff. Uh, I liked the uh, form factor. It's very strong and rigid. I like the chamfered edges on the carbon. It makes it look really good quality. I also like how they've put a Cadex in it. And for 150 bucks, that's crazy. I would have thought it would have been more last time I flew it. Yeah, we did think it was a bit more, yeah. but we didn't have any idea. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I like how it's really skinny and it's light. So I guess we got to try it. All right, nice. Again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Take yeah. two. Yeah. And he's away. All right. Okay, take two, Granger. <laughs> so uh, this is a very locked on quad. I love the feeling of it. It's one of my favorite um, bind and fly quads you've given me to fly, actually. Can you believe it's sort of coming out of gear, gear best? I know, it's crazy how it's come from gear best. <laughs> like what? It's just so locked on and I, it's, I feel very confident and I'm flying thumbs right now. And I don't even care. Like yeah, this, this thing... isn't usually your radio. Usually you've got like a proper big X9D special edition, and you, and you pinch. Yeah, and this just feels nice. Like the quad is making everything feel very nice. No prop wash. The uh, tune's very great. Um, I love the Cadex camera they've put on it. That's definitely a great idea. And I've seen a lot of uh, new bind and flies lately come out with Cadex cameras. I think that's a great idea. Any oscillations? Not at all. Legit, this is perfectly tuned quad out of the box. All right, what about, does it feel comparable, say, to like one of your expensive Americas, though? Um, well, it depends. For, ra for racing, no, because it's a bit too heavy and I can feel that weight. But my uh, expensive freestyle rig I got, this feels probably better. What? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Not even joking. Lots of power. Um... Seems to be high KV motors. Are they high KV? Ah, uh, they're 2600. Yeah. So that's what I'm used to. That's what I normally fly in. I love it. It's great. It's got heaps of power for the weight of it. Uh, I don't know what props <laughs> it comes with though too. We did put on, I've got some A-band flows on there. Do, who would you recommend this for? Beginners, um, pros, intermediates, hardcore racers, first time pilots? Any sort of pilot. This is good for any flyer because um, it's a well-tuned quad which makes it easier to fly. So I definitely recommend this for any pilot that flies FPV or is getting into FPV because it's very rigid as well. So I don't think you'd be breaking it anytime soon. So I, uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite quad that you've given me so far. For a cheap bind and fly. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's crazy. <laughs> so snappy and All right, is this better on. than the wizard? Oh yeah, mate, way better. This is a wizard killer. But, uh, you know what, that's actually what I was going to title this video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, a wizard killer. Yeah. Alright, no worries. Thanks, Granger. No worries. Look at your stick. Look at the... Look, ready? Yeah, what are you showing me? Feel it. Give it, a, give it a throttle. What's wrong with it? Oh, it comes and goes. Hold on. It'll, I'll tell yeah. you when it comes back. You're just making stuff up, mate. No, 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 watch. Well, it's it's mechanical. It's not to do with the quad. So you reckon something's getting stuck in the throttle? Something's in your radio. Hold on, when it comes back. I'm not tripping balls right now, I'm telling you the truth. It gets stuck halfway and it's like there's something holding it and then you... Uh, and what about max speed on this thing? Uh, the heat's a max speed. Like, that's plenty. I'd be happy with that. Alright, nice. Do you get to smash some race, some uh, technical turns on the racetrack? Uh, yeah, right. We'll give it a go. You got nothing to lose. Your throttle is doing it again. See if you'll throw it right now. Give it a rev. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like bouncing back. Yeah. All right, nice. Thanks, Granger. No worries. I'm on 13.7 volts, but let's just try it. So anyway, uh, there it is. Uh, there's my review of the Skystar, Skylord, and overall, I think it's a pretty good drone. Bang for buck. Definitely performs better than I was expecting. I actually thought it would cost a lot more money as well because we had no idea sort of what... I hadn't even looked up the website before I flew this thing around. It wasn't until I got home, did some research on the thing that I thought, you know what? That's, uh, and I didn't even know the internals when we were flying it in this video. That's a pretty good performing drone, pretty good price as well with some top-notch gear inside. So I'd love to know, what do you guys think about it? What about getting into the hobby? I would say I'd probably get the one where it comes built for like an extra $5 or something like that. But if you want to learn and put a kit together yourself, it does come in a kit version. But anyway, drop your comments down below. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a bit of a wizard killer because uh, it's kind of around the same price and they're both sort of new generation buy and flyers. But other than that, Subscribe for more FPV related action and as always, happy flying. 
Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.